why might it be helpful for someone to reflect on their prayer life and their own spirituality? Mm, great question, uh, which I might start by sort of saying, well, why might it not be helpful mm. to reflect on your prayer life uh, and the whole thing of your spirituality? I think it's the difference between paying attention and neglecting ah. our relationship with God. Um, what reflecting on our prayer life, on our prayer experience, on whatever we mean by the word mm -hmm. spirituality, um, has at its heart something about paying attention to the way in which we might be experiencing and encountering God in, in our life, mm -hmm. but particularly in those things that we do where we're seeking to encounter God in our praying, in our worship, uh, in whatever other ways we might find uh, appropriate for us to, to seek God. Um, so to reflect is to, to pay more attention to what's happening there. Mm. And if I pay attention, I mean, I go back to my school days and, uh, you know, teacher say, pay attention. And, uh, you know, experience has shown me just how it makes a difference it, when you pay attention, you notice things that mm. if you're not paying attention, you don't notice. And that can apply in any aspect of life. Okay. And that includes our prayer life. Mm. When someone said to me, so what happens to you when you pray? I kind of went, what? <laughs> the first <laughs> time that was asked, because no one had ever invited me to pay attention to what happened to me when I pray. Mm -hmm. But when I started to look at what was happening to me, I started to notice things that when I shared them with someone else, suddenly showed me there was something significant going mm -hmm. on. Wow. What One of the first things that I was noticing was that I was longing for something, some sense of God's presence. And I really wasn't sure if I was receiving anything you mm -hmm. know that was happening um, but when I started to talk about this desire for God wanting an encounter with God I started to discover how important that was mm -hmm. and, and it moved me to tears that mm -hmm. sense of longing and it was wow this is something really strong inside me where's that come from well, my spiritual accompanier at the time suggested that maybe that was God's gift in me. Uh -huh. Whoa, suddenly I was aware of encountering God. Mm -hmm. Well, I was kind of lifted six foot off the ground by that <laughs> because most of my time I'd been worrying that I, you know, I just, there was something wrong with me that I didn't have a sense of where God I was experiencing God and mm -hmm. there I was experiencing something that I'd never thought of, never recognized as being God. Mm -hmm. So it was this paying attention that was the beginning of uh, an important journey for me in discovering in much richer ways the way God meets us in our praying in everyday life even. So would you say that sort of being intentional about your prayer life and the, the way you were reflecting on your own spirituality helped you to kind of take the next step um, in your relationship with God? Absolutely. It, mm -hmm. I mean, the first thing it did was relaxed me about it. I moved from kind of anxiety and, and utter inadequacy to actually discovering there was something alive in me that was positive and helpful. Um, and, and, you know, things slowly unfolded very much more positively as a result of that. So, it, you know, it's a long, a long journey. That, that happened to me about 35 years ago, um, you know, but, and I'm still needing to do some paying attention. <laughs> so, you know, it opens up a way of journeying, I think, more than anything. That, that's really interesting to hear you say because um, in my work as Lights for Christ enabler I'm encouraging people to take on a personal rule of life and we're 
and, and in doing that we're asking people to be more intentional about the way that they um, live out their faith in their everyday yeah. life and often we're, we're doing lots of good things but we are sort of just drifting or flitting from one thing to the other and not really paying attention um, to where this is all leading and um, it's our hope that that through doing things like Soul Spark um, or engaging with the Lights of Christ program and, and looking at a personal rule of life that will give people the space and time to just step back and reflect and um, and realise perhaps um, the things that they are paying attention to and the things that they aren't and help them to kind of reprioritise and be more intentional in their in their spiritual life. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you.